Welcome to Digital Crack. And this is a overview, not a review, uh, because this is an older issue or an older, um, I guess, product that everybody seems to have forgotten about or moved on from. But this is the in-case uh, convertible book jacket for the iPad. Uh, notice that um, the older, um, same kind, same kind of case, rather, had the original uh, design of it that had some flaw issues and I'm thinking that in case went back and re redid their casing uh, for the newer models to correct some of those flaws that some people were complaining about. As you can tell it has three different views, viewing angles and has a uh, work angle for your typing. Um, a lot of people were using some of the angles, some of the I think the third, the last angle uh, slot for typing which really to me was just too high. Uh, should have been laid down like this and I think they went back and, and actually put it in a case that explained that because the original case for this in case uh, was clear it had no instructions or or um, I guess views to show you that it could do that 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 it was meant to be in this position to type and a lot of people assumed that it would only have those three angles uh, for you to actually adjust it with and once again it didn't have any of this on the back or anything like that and uh, anyway uh, another complaint that it had, as you can tell, I put my Apple sticker on it to give it some flair. Originally, uh, the in case, actually, I don't know if you can see that, but the in case uh, wording was was in white. It had it stitching all over it. Uh, right here, this was in white. Uh, I think this is the, the in case logo um, on the, I think, the back. I don't think it had anything on the original back, but mine doesn't have anything anyway. But they um, actually made this all black. And I like that. It, it doesn't stand out. Um, that's why I was able to put my, my Apple sticker right here on the case so that it didn't, um, I didn't have to worry about uh, any other white insignias just standing out um, saying, look at me, look at me. So, but this does uh, the job quite well, actually. Anyway, it has a strap on it that keeps it locked down. Uh, this is the sides, how it looks with your iPad. Um, and it doesn't cover up uh, the important things. That's a good thing. Has nice uh, leather, thick leather actually, that goes hand in hand with uh, quality to me. I mean, it just just feels so much better than the original iPad um, Apple case that it, that uh, a lot of people had got in the beginning. Uh, it was too flimsy. But anyway, uh, this is how it looks inside. These are the three notches that uh, you would set set it up in a uh, private at different angles with and I'll show you that in a moment this is my iPad um, I guess you can say this is kind of an overview for it too because uh, this is what uh, where are we at uh, the 14th 14th of March no yeah the 14th of March and as you know the iPad 2 uh, did, did just recently come out and along with that um, came with the fact that uh, everybody jumped and bought the second iPad 2, rather. And uh, by doing that, a lot of people returned there. So I took the time out. Hey, Bolt, say hey. I took the time out to actually pick up an iPad uh, 1. Thanks to the, everybody's uh, jumping to the new product um, desires, I went and got the part 1. And I got a good deal for it because I got my iPad for less than $300. That's right, baby. Less than $300 iPad, and I'm very happy with it. Uh, I also got a screen protector, an anti-glare screen protector. That way I don't have to worry about fingerprints. See, don't have to worry about fingerprints and cleaning it all day long like I, like I did my uh, other items that I have bought recently. Uh, but anyway, this is another area right here on the pad, or the, or the in case rather, that a lot of people complained about was the fact that the iPad would slip out you know, at different angles will start to slip. Well, they put a little Velcro strapping right there. So you can tell that. And uh, it actually holds your iPad in place. It's another add-on that they did and correction that they did from their original design, which makes it better. Um, let's see. And that's basically it. Um, let me show you some of the angles that this, that this sits at. Okay, so we can do this with one hand. Okay, that's angle one. I don't know if you can see that. And that's angle two. So, and then we have angle three. So, 
Looks, looks very sturdy, and if you want, you can pull it down. Then you have your typing angle. I don't know if you can see that, but it has that much gap between it. See? So, actually stands. Let me see here. Actually stands. Stands up like that, like that viewing angle. That's my Narnia poster. Anyway, um, yeah, so that gives you a good angle to type it. Very comfortable. So, with that, let's see here. Let's turn this baby around so we can see. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Alright, so back to the to the case itself, but uh, when you do uh, want to use it to f like regularly, you would you would put it over here and you would pull the straps up like that. Forgive my one-handedness here, and that way you would just lay it down flat, and you could you know adjust, and look at your iPad that way. And there you have it. So it does still give you a kind of a wop-sided view, you know, because it slants downhill kind of when you're laying it flat. So it's not necessarily the flattest surface. Um, when you're folding it backwards and you don't want to use any of the angles, you're still going to have an angle. But it's not something that you can't live with, so to speak. So there you have it. There's my overview of Mario's um, purchase of an iPad, an iPad case. And like I said, my iPad original or instead of running $4.99 or $3.99, now the, the new one is out, actually ran me under $300 to buy from Best Buy because somebody returned it. So they returned it in pristine condition, and I love it. That's pretty awesome, especially for the price that I've bought it for. So anyway, um, this is uh, Mario signing out. Oh, one more thing. Let me show you a great app that I really like. It's called Flipboard. And basically, Flipboard gives you uh, a magazine type of layout for your Twitter and your um, Facebook accounts. So you basically have um, this connection that allows you to install your Facebook accounts, your Twitter accounts, and it'll do a, a, like a alignment, like a book. So for, let's say for instance, my Twitter account, uh, everything, every ad, every every add-on or every update that the people that I follow do comes into this kind of view and you turn the page like a magazine and each article can pull up a different you know hitting if it links to a subject or a subject matter or a site the site will pull up down below and you just scroll up and read from the actual site itself uh, and all the, the the information that the article was giving you and you scroll down to to uh, bring it away or something I think yeah okay swipe it okay and uh, it goes away or uh, let's see here you close it out at the top and go back to your original page that you left off at and that's pretty cool you know instead of scrolling down just little bitty updates of words you actually have an article especially if they have um, especially if they have pictures that are attached to it or videos you can see those things embedded in the actual app itself now as far as Facebook goes let's see Let's see. All right, we go to Facebook and it's a Facebook account. So these are the different articles and stuff of people that I follow and the, and um, some of the things that they're talking about and some of the add-on um, articles that they're writing um, about, and it comes through pretty awesome. So anyway, I just thought you might want to see that. It's pretty pretty different I thought it's probably one of the best apps I've seen for for uh, the iPad but anyway thanks for joining and thanks for your patience with me and uh, hopefully you enjoyed the presentation and walked away informed about some particular item or information that I just relayed to you thank you